Hey guys, Gilles here with King from Top Snow Travel. I just arrived at Doha Airport. I'm about to catch a flight from Doha to Paris in business class on the A380. I'm about to go to the lounge. Let's go and have a look. First impression of the business class lounge is that it's very spacious. You also have nice sleeping areas for privacy. We'll have a look at the other seating area in a moment, but first let's check out the showers. So I'm Doha Airport at the business class lounge, just about to take a shower after my long flight from Sydney to Doha before my flight from Doha to Paris. Very nice showers, big, lots of space. Oh, there's also a bathroom. Very nice. There's nothing like having a nice warm shower after a long haul flight. Now I'm all fresh, ready for my next flight. Let's go and check out the lounge. There are several types of seating areas which are all very comfortable, some with more privacy than others. Eggs Benedict and a lime mint zesty lemon fresh juice. Looks alright. There's a decent selection of buffet, both hot and cold. The food was pretty average, not that great, but there's plenty of choice. You can also order food and beverages a la carte, like I did with my eggs Benedict and my fresh juice, which was pretty good, but not the best. Just got out of the business class lounge, at the Hamilton uh, lounge, and took the other one. Um, the food was pretty average, to be honest. Um, it's very spacious, the showers were amazing, so much space. Um, so, we're going to go to the gate and we might like to definitely eat. The business class cabin with Qatar Airways on the A380 is located on the upper deck in a one to one formation and you have 48 seats total and today I'll be sitting in seat number 21k. My first impressions are that the aisle seats don't have much privacy at all especially compared to the Q suites with Qatar Airways the other business class cabins which have sliding doors and more privacy. So I've just boarded on board the Qatar A380 business class and it's a bit disappointing after coming up the Q suites with Qatar which is absolutely amazing. The A380 with Qatar looks a bit tired, less privacy, 
uh, looks a bit um, a bit run down, not much space. So hopefully it's a good fight and the service is great and the entertainment is great. I've heard that the lounge is also not open, so possibly not the, the best fight uh, this time, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm in the bar lounge on the Qatar Airways A380. Unfortunately, uh, because of COVID, there's no bar service, so no drinking, no mingling, no chatting with people. But this is what you would get.
ordered the Arabic Mitzi, so a little appetizer. One of my favorites, absolutely love it. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I got myself some lobster with a bit of um, cauliflower gratin, uh, a few carrots, a bit of fennel. Looks pretty good. Chai latte, very nice, very tasty. Really nice. After a nice dessert, that New York cheesecake was just absolutely delicious and amazing. Loved it. So, we're making our descent down to Paris now. It's been a pretty pleasant flight. The service has been really, really good. Uh, the food has been a bit mixed. Some of the food, some of the dishes were excellent, some of them not so good, so a bit of a mixed bag there. Um, it's a shame we couldn't use the bar just because of COVID reasons, but by the time you watch this video, or by the time you travel in Qatar on the A380 business class, most likely the bar will be accessible again and um, full bar service will resume. Uh, apart from that, not so much uh, space and privacy. It's quite open on the seats. Quite comfortable, life flat bed, really, really nice blankets. I really enjoy that one. Uh, plenty of storage, um, so quite a pleasant, uh, comfortable flight. But nowhere near as good as the Q Suites on Qatar Airways. The Q Suite is by far a much better product, and it's uh, definitely the best business class um, in the world for me, the Q Suites in Qatar. However, the business class with Emirates, I think, is much better on the A380 than the business class with the tireways on the A380. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.